And he deals. Come back to the mound. He caught it behind his back. And very nicely done for the out. What a play to end the inning. There's no way he saw that into the glove. No, you're absolutely right. All he knew was the grounder was somewhere behind him. Just threw his glove out there and it stuck. That was pretty cool. For so many players from Latin American countries in particular who sign as international free agents or even through the draft, their transition to affiliated professional baseball can not just be a shift in terms of the game itself, but it can also come with a good amount of culture shock. I have minor league manager Rachel Balkovec with me. Rachel, what is that transition like for these players? You know, it's really inspiring and it's it's incredible to think um, how much they have to go through. And I think, you know, the casual fan doesn't understand there's an incredible journey that the Latin players go through. Um, and I've been fortunate enough to work at the lower levels a, a lot of my career for, for the past 10 years. And for me personally, I've learned so much. I've learned more from the Latin American players than I have from our American players, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. They've they've taught me so much about being vulnerable and, and learning a different language and, and how they're able to really assimilate and, and learn about our culture. It makes inspires me and it should inspire other people also to learn about their culture and, and really embrace their culture in the game. Welcome back, you wonderful 343 subscribers. You are now tuned in to the Game and Entertainment Network while we are back on the journey of B. Palm the Charm as he plays his, uh, what game is his, 13th game? I don't know. I know we got two games leading up to the All-Star break. Will he be a starter in the All-Star game? Or will he be one of those pitchers on the bullpen, chewing gum, gum on the bottom of your shoe, waiting until he get in? Now, let's see here. Let's Let's see. What are we going to work on today? You're definitely not going to jump on no boxes, man. How can jumping on boxes help your cutter control and change up control? Your teammate thinks he can help you get more out of your arm by jumping on boxes. Well, uh, we're going to go with this durability. Durability sounds like we're going to be in the game longer. That's definitely what we need to be in. Let's go with the durability and the clutch. And without further ado, you see here on the lineup, uh, they got a man, Cody Thomas, kind of struggling, but the Brett Harris is on fire, so we please got to watch out for him. So without further ado, let's get this game started. The Rock Hounds versus the Rough Riders. From inside the booth at Iron Horse Stadium, some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Midland Rock Hounds taking on the Frisco Rough Riders. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set and on the hill today, Brandon Parra. What do you have on him? Really labored his last time out. Four plus innings, wasn't able to qualify for the win, but fortunately got a no decision and didn't take a loss. We'll see if he can get in the W column today. Now the left fielder, Pedro Pineda. And a pitch. That misses, and we're underway here in the home opener. And the 1 0. Oh. There's a strike. That's in there. strikes and he knew it Mickey McDonald the next to hit Mickey McDonald and there's a strike no ball one strike That's and that's a strike. One down, base is empty. Ah. Sets him down on strikes. 
Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. The 1 0. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. Ground ball up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. He's safe. That again. The first base. Is Ryan. Next is the speedy first baseman, number 73. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. And the first no, pitch misses ball. for ball one. And here it comes. And he grounds one to the right side. He steps on the bag, and the inning is over. One hit, one left. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. New inning getting started. And here is Trenton Brooks. Trenton Brooks. Para back to work. Yep. There's a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Next offering is foul back. And before the pitch, he steps off. The punch out there, one out in the second. Here's the third baseman, number 20. Oh. And that's in there for strike one. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. Second inning here, no score. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second, and he's in with a stand-up double. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And the batter now, Brett Harris. First offering, misses the mark. There's a strike. Pitch misses, ball. and a count two and one. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. Kicks and fires. Pitch misses ball. there, and now three balls and a strike. Steps off, lead runner back to second. Foul ball, and it remains a full count.
and the pitch fouled off again and it remains three and two the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four well that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk very gritty at the play four. Robert Poisson at the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boo. Yep. Next offering is in for a strike. That one is upstairs. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And it's even up. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Two two now. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him full. And now the catcher comes up to him. J.J. Schwartz. First pitch just misses. Two on, two outs. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. And he deals. Come back to the mound. He caught it behind his back. An and out. very nicely done for the out. What a play to end the inning. There's no way he saw that into the glove. No, you're absolutely right. All he knew was the grounder was somewhere behind him. Just threw his glove out there and it stuck. That was pretty cool. Top half of the third inning. Here's the left fielder, Pedro Pineda. Number 11, Pedro Pineda. Para back to work. Right. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Pineda getting the start in left, hitting leadoff in today's game. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Pitch misses, oh. and it's a ball and a strike. Right. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. And now two and two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out and one away. Now bad. So digging in, Mickey McDonald. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. On the ground at first. He takes it on his He's own. Out. And a couple of quick outs. Now back at the center, the center fielder, fielder, Cody Thomas. Thomas. And now the center fielder, Cody Thomas, reached on an infield single his first time. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0. Oh.
The pitch. Foul ball. In the air, right field. Jankowski under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We head now to the home half of inning number three. The Rough Riders lead it one to nothing. Out of the fourth, and here's the first baseman, number 73. Ryan. Well, after putting up a nice no inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back ah. up there while they're hot. And he flips a breaking oh, ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. And the right hander deals. Now a slow roller to second. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the now air. Bad. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Trenton Brooks getting ready to hit. Struck out swinging his first time. In there for strike one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. That misses. One and now it's even one, one and one. That's no. a little bit low. Two one now. Swings through that. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Now this is in the air down the line. Jankowski as he glides to his left. Snags it on the run. And there's two down. Now that, the third base. Schofield Two outs, bases empty. Now the third baseman, number 20, doubled in his first A.B. Just oh. missed. 1-0. And a 1 1. Yeah, there's the strike. The pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Nothing doing here this half to the bottom of inning number four now. The Rough Riders have the advantage three to nothing. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the shortstop, Brett Harris. Yeah, the right hander back to work. There's a strike at the knees, and it's 0-1.
swing and a miss. Bounced up the middle. In plenty of time to first, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. The batter number three, second base. Robert. And now Poisson. here is Robert Poisson. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. In there, and it's 0 1. Bounce to the left side. And he beats the throw. Shows off the wheels right there. An infield single. Definitely a tough play, but he seems to have had a little trouble getting rid of it, and that made all the difference. And with the speed running up the line, you got to be perfect. And right there, he just couldn't get it there in time. And here's the catcher, J.J. Schwartz. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Pineda up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Poisson, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. The 1 1. That one down the line. Fair ball. Just a cookie like down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Now, Mickey McDonald. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now, one, one and one. First and second, two down. Next pitch is inside. Two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Easily makes the play, and the inning is over. Two left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Rough Riders out front here, three to nothing. Welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Cody Thomas. The center fielder, Cody Thomas. Para back to work. Popped up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One down. Now back the first base. Ryan. So now it's the four hole hitter, number 73. And the first pitch misses for ball one. There's a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. 
the one one right back to him on the mound throws to first two up two down now that designated hitter treads in Brooks. now it's the DH Trenton Brooks Brooks measures six feet even 180 pounds and he's usually a first baseman but today he's the designated hitter and there's ball. a ball one ball no strike right hander kicks deals and another ball fires and a curve is down and in well these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one the guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking make sure that they don't get any confidence the pitch foul ball there got it by him for the K Nothing doing for the offense that time to the bottom of the sixth inning. The Rough Riders on top here, three to nothing. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman, number 20. The Rockhounds in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And the pitch. And that clips the inside corner. That's oh, a real no nice ball. cutter right there. Right. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times. So I'd say that's pretty effective if ball. you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. Ball to strike. Next no, offering is outside. Down. Ground ball left ball. side and that's just foul. That's to third. Fires across the diamond. That's the first out the now top of the seventh. Brett. Here's the shortstop at the play. Brett Harris. Now he steps off to reset. Ball one there. One oh. Next Ball, offering right is down. downstairs. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Bounced out to short. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to hold on to it, and he reaches safely. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Brandon Parra gives way. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Lucas Jacobson gets the ball now. Now for the Rough Rider, number 95, Lucas Jacobson. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. 
you never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shelby. Talk to you soon. And I thank you for stopping by as well, and you know how we do it. Live, love, laugh, and learn. PlayStation.